Hmm, what do I want? Candy bar. Soda. <laughs> a tiny. Twelve bucks for a tiny. No wonder there's still some left. Hey, you alive in there? The box says you're supposed to be alive. <laughs> I can see you flinching. Fine, play dead. See if I care. If you're still here next week when they restock the vending machine, they're just going to throw you in the trash. Nobody's going to buy a dud. Ah, there you are. Good morning, sleepyhead. How long have you been in the machine? Just hold up your fingers. How many days? You must be getting hungry. Looks like your water's getting low, too. <sighs> Do I really want a tiny, though? I feel like it's been over a year since I had one. Mmm, but they've got butterfingers, too. Decisions, decisions. I mean, I do like gum. But that's definitely not going to tide me over until dinner. If I get to go home for dinner. Those apple pies look kinda old. They'd still probably taste pretty good in the microwave, though. Hey, Tiny. Do you think I'm getting fat? I swear my hips are getting wider. <laughs> All these vending machine snacks. Who has time to meal prep these days, though? I think it's a bit of stress, too. Oh, just my job. It's crunch time. I feel like the only time I get out of my cubicle is to go to meetings. Do you see that couch over there? Could you see me sleeping there the other night? Yeah, that's how you know it's getting bad. You know, you actually have to kind of be slacking off to get one of the good couches to sleep on around here. If you're still working at three in the morning, they're all taken. What I wouldn't give to have a cute little comfy box like yours. It looks a lot better than my cubicle, that's for sure. How did they get you inside there anyway? I think I saw a show on TV about it once. Some documentary about the packaging factory. I missed the part where they actually put the tinies in their boxes, though. Do they still do it by hand? Or did they make some sort of conveyor belt that puts one tiny in each package? <laughs> How do they make sure you don't scamper out? Do they, like, sedate you or something? I didn't really think about that. That must be really scary. Hmm. I wish you weren't so expensive. I could get a soda and a muffin for the same price. I should probably get you out first. It wouldn't go well if my pudding cup fell on top of you, would it? <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? What? Really? Not once? What did you eat at the farm? That doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're so scrawny. Just one tiny little grain of rice three times a day. You poor thing. Not exactly square meals. Me? I guess not so different. 
Sometimes I feel like this building is a giant vending machine. And my cubicle is my own little box, waiting for the powers that be to kick me out. Or until I get old and spoil. Food's better, though. You know, most people don't have a sympathetic ear for my complaining. If I let you out of your package, am I going to have to chase you? Promise? Okay. Come on, out on the table. I want to see you walk around a bit. There you go. <laughs> Isn't it nice to stretch your legs? There's a really nice park near my building. It's got a baseball diamond and everything. I used to go for long walks around there on the weekend or whenever I got the chance to work from home. It was nice. I miss it. Hmm, you know what could be fun? I could start a pool at the office. Buy a big box of tinies and start a softball league. Have you all play on the break room tables. Maybe little bits of napkin for the bases and a toothpick would be about right for a bat. What could we use for a ball? Mm, I don't know. I don't think the aerodynamics would scale down. And who would watch this anyway? All of us are swamped here at work. There's not really a point. <laughs> you just don't want to be eaten. Why not? You just want to be a tiny person in a giant corporate building existing to entertain your betters? Who would... <sighs> yeah, I guess that's me too. You got a point. Do you want some of my pudding? Here, have a taste. <laughs> it's okay. You can just use your hands. So, is it good? Any signs of an allergic reaction? No? Perfect. Well, um, I kind of forgot to get a spoon, and I'm lazy. I'm going to use you instead, okay? <laughs> hey, no you don't. Get back here. <laughs> Stand still. I promise I'm not going to eat you. I'm just going to dunk you in my pudding cup and lick it off you. Hey, if you make me get up and chase you, I might get really annoyed. Good. Know your place. Now. <laughs> Mmm. Oh my god, that is so tasty. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that really adds to the flavor. <laughs> mm. just something so alluring about this.
It's true, but a promise is a promise. Even to a tiny. Hmm, my little pudding spoon. <laughs> mm. We're just going to take our time with our break, you know? With a plastic spoon, I'd probably be done in what, like, four or five gulps? But with you, well, I gotta drag that out a bit. Get a few extra minutes. Mm. Especially if I take my time licking my pudding spoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold still, you've got a little bit on your face. Hmm. Oh, you don't want to just have pudding on your face, do you? I'm not going to take you to the sink. Stop wiggling. Mm, it's my big spongy tongue or nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm, you trying to give me a hug? Just to make sure I don't accidentally swallow you, of course. <laughs> Come on, let go. There's just a little bit more pudding left. Mm. Let me put you in one more time and then we're all finished, okay? Use your hands. Get into the corners. Slather yourself, my tasty little treat. <laughs> mm. Mm, my gosh. Mm, that is so good. Spot check time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, ticklish much. <sighs> it's so hard to get between your little fingers. Mm, behind your knees. You get sticky if I'm not thorough. Mm. Mm. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Hey, um, I was wondering, I do computer programming, or at least I spend a lot of time staring at a screen trying to do computer programming, and there's this idea of a rubber duck. Like, sometimes when you get stuck on something, it helps to explain the problem to a rubber duck because just talking about it helps you understand the problem and helps you find a solution. And they fired everyone on my team with a technical background. I never really got into the rubber duck habit, but I've got this doozy of a problem waiting for me at my desk. I'm not supposed to take food out of the break room, but if you promise to be quiet... I could just slip you into my shirt pocket and we could take a look at it together. It'll be cozy. You can be like my little work friend. I used to have those. Not a tiny, but, well, you know what I mean. Plus, it's better for the environment than using plastic spoons, right? 
May as well keep you around to get my money's worth.